Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to see how to upload your files and folders and your projects to Git. So we all have Git accounts to store our project, to store our files and folders and how do we do that? There are two very simple ways to do it. First of all, let, let's just log into your Git account. So go to github.com and log into your Git account. And then this is your profile, right? Now, if you click on this my profile icon, then you will see your profile and your repositories. So what you need to do is click on your repositories and it will show all the repositories available on your Git account. And now we will create a new repository to upload new files and folders you should create new repository so i will create a new repository and i will name it test repo that's it now i can either make it public or make it private i would like to make it private because i don't want to share it with anyone so i'll make it private if you want to share your code with the rest of the world then you can make it public as well now you can add a readme file you can add a git ignore file or you can choose like license from here, but we will ignore all of these for now. And we will simply create our repository. So once the repository is created, either you can just go to uploading and existing files or create new files. So the first way is just click on this uploading, you know, existing files and you can just open your project and you can try to drag and drop your project files over here. So let's say I have this project, I have created this project and I can, you know, drag it over here. So all the content of my folder would be uploaded over here. And then I can drag this file also over here. And there we go. We have everything uploaded and I can just say commit changes and it will commit all the changes and it will upload everything in my repo. So in the test repo, I will have everything what I have over here. That's right, that works. But the problem is we don't want to do it all the time because if you have heavy files and folders, it can be very cumbersome. It can take a lot of time and then you might not get your files in the exact format which you want. So from my point of view, it is better to go with the second approach and upload your files and folders with the second approach. So for the second approach, there are multiple ways so what you can do is you can download the git desktop application and you can set it up you can you can do it through your vs code you can do it through source tree there are so many other ways but the best way is to upload it using your command line tool or terminal in case of mac so if you're on mac you can open your terminal and if you're on windows you can open your command line tool so if you're on windows basically you will have to go to your folder for which you want to upload the files and folder to the git and then just right click on the folder and you will you should see an option to open the project with the command line tool now once you have the command line tool open you can write some commands to upload these files and folders to the git so let's see how we can do it so to do so as well first we'll have to go and create our repository so go to your repository and just create new i will say tutorial and then i will make it private and then create repository and then if you can see over here for command line it has given all the instructions so, so these are the commands which you will be using to upload your files and folders to this particular repository so there are a few more steps if you are uploading your files and folders for the first time then you might get those issues so i'll tell you how to resolve those issues while we are uploading these files and folders so let's go to our terminal and i will have to go to that particular directory where my project is so in mac all i have to do is cd and then i can just drag and drop this folder over here and it will tell me where exactly it's available and i can enter and i'm in that directory now command k now if you're in windows make sure you are in the correct directory you are in the directory which you want to upload to your git repository and after this you have to run these commands so first we have to run git init 
So this command ensures that your folder is now initialized with Git and you can upload this folder to the Git repository. So just enter and Git is initialized and you will see Git main it's saying in my terminal. It might not show in yours because I have some settings which, which shows me the current branch which is selected. So it might not show in your in your terminal or command line tool but that's all right we don't need to see that you can simply just say git status and it will tell you the status of your current git folder so currently you are on branch main you have not made any comments and you have some untracked file so this is where your git ignore comes into picture so let's say this file dot ds underscore store this is an os file and i don't want to commit it in my repository so in that case i will create a git ignore file and add this file into that file but as of now we can just leave it and we can add it as well and then these files and folders we want to add into our git repository so to do so what you have to do is just use this git add and then files name but because i want to add all these files i can just simply write git add dot and this will make all the files into git tracking system so as you see it says untracked file as soon as you run this command it will add all these files into the git tracking system so just enter and it is added now if you see git status you should see all these files into green color and now you see so many more files because it's now showing the files which were inside these folders so all of those files which were inside the folders also got added into git tracking now that you have added all your files i can you can now go ahead and commit your files so let me just increase the size and i will say command k to clear and then i can say i can write my commit message to commit my files so let's simply write this git commit minus m so minus m is for message you want to give some message while you are committing your files so let's say i will just simply say first comment as it has suggested over here so we'll just follow that and then enter so now as i said if you are uploading your files and folder for the first time then you will get this so this means that you have never uploaded your files and folder and git is not configured in your system so in this case what you have to do is just configure git in your system so to add git configuration you can just simply copy this line and paste it over here and you can enter your email id with which you have logged in for git so i will enter my email id and this will configure my user email id for the git configuration now if you see we have this dash dash global this is if you want to do this configuration if you want to enable this git configuration throughout your system like for all of your git folders it will take this configuration but i don't want to use this configuration throughout my system so i'll just delete this global you can leave it if you want to use this configuration throughout your system and then just enter and git configuration for email id is done now we have to do git configuration for name so just replace the email with name and over here also i will just replace the email with my username and that should be capital H and there we go so now I have my configuration all set now I can commit my changes so I will just say I will just use my commit command git commit minus m and then first commit and I can enter now and now this was committed successfully now you can see my code is committed and now let's see command k do git status and if you'll see it will say on branch main nothing to commit working tree clean so this is all good we have committed our code but it's still not available in our remote directory so this is called on the server this is called the remote repository and on the local what we have it is called the local repository now to get our code in our remote repository we have to push our changes 
from the local repository and before doing that we need to connect our local repository with the remote repository so to do so we have this command git remote add origin and then the url of the repository so let's run this command quickly so you can just copy please paste and then enter so now our local repository is connected to the remote repository and now we can simply push our changes so to push our changes you can see we have this command i can just copy it and paste it over here now if you see we are on the main branch only if you want to change your branch and then push your changes you can do so as well uh, this tutorial is not for that if you need tutorial for that as well just let me know in the comment section and i will cover that as well so now let's push our changes to our remote repository so let's enter and if you'll see we will get some error message so authentication is failed and that is because git has enabled a personal token authentication so we need to authenticate ourselves while pushing our code from local to server and that is done through a personal token authentication so how to generate that token you have to go to your icon over here and then you can go to the settings and then at the bottom you will see developer settings just click on that and then there you have there you have it personal access tokens so just say tokens classic and then say generate new token and then you have two options we can just you go for general use token itself that should be good enough for us and just give it some name i will just say developer token and just change the expiration date to let's say no expiration because this is your private git repository you don't want to keep changing the token if it is like shared with someone then maybe you can you can set some expiration so that they don't overuse it and then let's just select everything because it is our repository and I can use it as I want. So I will be the admin for this repo. So just select everything and then click on generate token. And this will generate the token. Now just copy this token, go to your command line tool or terminal and then just say git push and it will show you the error. Uh, it will show you the main command which you will enter to get that error. So just copy this command. So first write this git push enter and you will get this command. So enter this command and it will ask for your username. So enter your username. So my username is Harshivo and then the password is the one which we just created. This is the token which is the password. So copied and then command V or control V and enter. And there we have it. We have pushed our code. So we just pushed our code to our remote repository. So if I go to my repository section, repositories, and I have this tutorial section. And now I can see all my files and folders over here in this tutorial section, which I just pushed from my command line tool. So except the main command which were like git init to initialize your repository, git status to check the status of your repository and then git add to add all the files and folders in your repository and then git commit to commit all the files and folders in your repository and then the final one was git push to push all your changes to the remote repository all other commands which we run to for like the configuration command and setting up the authentication token all these will not come from the next time onwards so so if i make any changes in these files and folders so let's open one file uh, let's open this file. This is an app delegate file. It's okay. And I will just add a comment and save it. Now I should be able to see it in my git status. So just write git status and you will see one file has been changed. So now if I just go and write git add and I'll just say dot or because it's only one file, I can just copy the copy the path of that file and just paste it over here and then enter. 
and now this file is added so first command was git status second command was git add now again git status to check the status of your, of your file so it is in green color it means that this file has been added to your git tracking system and now i can just say git commit minus m and then enter so uh, whatever commit message you want to give i will say added a comment and then commit now the file has been committed now if i'll run git status you will see your branch is ahead of main branch by one commit and use git push to publish your local commits so i can use git push and it will push my changes in my remote repository so the file which we changed was app delegate if i go to tutorials and then app delegate i should be able to see my comment change in this file so that's all so for the first time you will have to add the configurations you will have to add your authentication but from next time onwards once your git is all set up you will not have to do all those things and it's only three to four commands with which you can push all your files and folders to git remote repository this is it with this video thank you so much for watching if you like this video please do like subscribe and share it with your friends bye bye